This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. How would you like to support your local animal organization simply by walking your dog? It's healthy for you, your dog, and your favorite shelter or rescue. And the best part is it's free for you. Missy Decker from the Adair County Humane Society is here this morning to tell us more about an app that is making all of this possible. How are you doing today? Good. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. And you brought your little uh, sidekick with yep, you. This is a little walking buddy, Lily. So and she's been able to use the Wolf Tracks app a few times. Okay. Um, and what it is, is it's an app for your smartphone. Uh -huh. that allows you to walk your pet or a friend's pet mm -hmm. or if you don't have a pet there's one called walk cassie mm -hmm. that you can walk if you're volunteering at the shelter or volunteering with a rescue that you can also generate money for the shelter it's free to you mm -hmm. so it's something that you don't have to put forth anything for just press the button, download the app, press the button, and go for your walk. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting because I downloaded this app on my phone, and all you do is once you start walking your dog, you press go, and it counts your steps, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. And then after that, it finally starts calculating, and then after a certain amount of uh, steps, it starts donating money, correct? Yes, and we receive money twice a year from okay. Wolf Tracks. All right, and like you said, the best part is it's free. So even though you want to donate, and I know there's a lot of people that do want to donate but just don't have the means to, all you have to do if you have a dog, or like you said, you don't have a dog, you can still download this and then just by walking. Absolutely, absolutely, and we encourage our volunteers too. We're mm -hmm. so fortunate to have the volunteer base mm -hmm. that we do that there's still an opportunity if you aren't able to have a pet to still do that, or for the people with cats that mm -hmm. aren't able to get out mm -hmm. and walk them. Um, that you can still help out. Mm -hmm. And the setup is pretty easy. All you have to do is just uh, add your name, email address, and then the shelter of your choice, which uh, by my GPS on my phone, it automatically um, selected the Adair County Humane yes, Society. Yes, yes. It takes literally three or four minutes, guys, to get it set up. And then when you go, it's, it's not a hassle to get through and do when you're going to walk. It's so literally press the app button and go. And you're going. And you can do multiple pets. So for those of you who have several pets, you have an opportunity to enter each of them. And then if you walk one or walk two at one time, it, that works that way also. All right, fantastic. And like you said, the nice part is, is it doesn't ask for your credit card information or anything like that. No, so you're, it's not, not. you're not taking any money out of your pocket. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this app and organization actually donates the money to you guys. Yes, yes. And then in turn, you use that money for the shelter. So kind of explain what that money goes towards. Um, we've got medical costs. Food, of course, is an every, everyday occurrence. Um, cat litter running heat for the buildings, um, all of those things, getting the animals taken care of, all that goes to that. And what are some other ways people can donate if they don't have money? Um, old blankets, old towels, um, we use newspapers. So there's a lot of different things and just getting the word out there mm -hmm. on things that we need also. Everyone has old blankets laying around or old towels, rags even. We have people that make pillows out of old clothes mm -hmm. and those are fantastic, especially for the smaller dogs or nursing moms, which we usually have at least one at a time and all of that definitely helps. So someone even without a monetary donation can make a huge impact on helping the animals. And I know that every time I go down there once a week to uh, tape our Pet of the Week segment, I always see people bringing in newspapers. Yes, we use those to line the cages when we've got small puppies or the cats too. So we use those even, you know, something that somebody would normally maybe throw away or recycle is something we're able to use. Fantastic. And I know people, you're always looking for volunteers yes. also. As, what do they do once they volunteer? Um, we've got a variety of people. We've got the, the people who do like to clean, which is always appreciated, <laughs> but most of them are socializing with the animals. And that makes them more adoptable because they're used to a different variety of people. It keeps them out walking. We have three employees. We don't have the, the means during the day to get everybody walked. Mm -hmm. So it allows everyone walk time. The animals are a lot more calm in their kennels. I'm um, used to being on a leash, which again, makes them more adoptable too when people do come to visit. Mm -hmm. And if somebody does want to volunteer, how do they go about doing that? Um, do they need to call ahead yeah. of time? Do they just show up? How does that work? They need to give us a call first because okay. we've got a short orientation to go through okay. and it's kind of just kind of getting you adjusted to everything, um, where everything is and how we operate. and where the dogs are able to get walked and the kitties play time and stuff. And then we can set up you know, volunteer hours for them. All right, perfect. Well, what we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlineconnection.com. We'll also link up information to this app so people can download and hopefully start walking their dogs and bringing mm -hmm. in some extra funds for the Adair County Humane Society. That's great. Good weather is coming soon. Uh, yes, so. yes. After today, hopefully, <laughs> right? We'll have it. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, Lily, for coming on and being a great sidekick. <laughs> Look at her. She is so adorable. And again, we'll post everything on our website at heartlineconnection.com, and we'll be right back.